I'd like to talk a little bit about small details with, reg with regards to your training. So if we're studying uh, reverse punch, for example, as a beginner, you're in your stance and you practice punch and back, punch and back. The beginner is focusing just on the hand motion, punching and back, punching and back. Okay, as you move on and, and advance, now you need to start thinking about the pullback hand as the other one punches out and making the hand position and the hand movement at the same time. Then, when you've done that, now you need to start thinking about how the hips turn at the same time. So they're open here and then close. Open, then close. Then, how does the knee work? Does it bend? Does it straighten? If so, how much? Right? Along with the hip and the shoulder turn and the fist punching and the fist twisting at the end and this hand pulling back and twisting and the contact between the foot position and the ground and how this works. All of these things go into just a reverse punch. Then you have your focus directly ahead with the punch, the hip in line with the elbow and the fist, shoulder down instead of up like this. Hara, tensed, focus forward, mind, purpose going through the punch to the distance. All of these things are the so-called the small details, komakai koto in Japanese, the small details. When you begin karate, there are so many details that it can be overwhelming. So you have to focus on just one or two of them. But when you feel like you've got that, now's the time to go to the next couple of details to focus on, and then the next couple of details. And then eventually you can focus on the full technique. And then when you think you've got all of the small, small details worked out, then work on improving that technique. I just showed you reverse punch. Of course, we can apply this theory to all techniques in karate. So one of the main points I'd like to make with this section here is small details are very important, but these are the things that should be able to keep you going in your karate practice that show you all the time there's still more to learn. Even though you think you can, uh, you've mastered your hip twist with the punch, or you've mastered how to keep your elbow tucked in instead of letting it come out, or the fist twist at the end, or the uh, distribution of power throughout the punch, or the focus of the hara, and all these things. If you think you've got that, there's always something else. And this should keep you coming back for more. Because if there's nothing more left, and there's nothing else to learn, it's easy to get bored. And karate is a constant learning process so through all of these small details, you will always be challenged. This is the beauty of karate.